Hello and welcome to my new Wednesday Ukulele Bites, a weekly snapshot into the world of ukulele construction. Most of us have no idea what the inside of a ukulele looks like or how they are put together. So following my ukulele kit building series, this mini series will each week look at part of the ukulele construction process and give us a brief insight into how these instruments are built using the guide, the uke book illustrated, details of which can be found in the video description. This week we are looking at the shaping and the joining of the soundboard. And on this page there's a beautiful illustration showing us how the wood used for the soundboard can be sawn on the quarter and uh, taken from the tree trunk giving us those wonderful uh, layers of rings and the lines on the wood uh, consequently that really give the, uh, the wood a beautiful texture on the finish of your ukulele. These grain lines also allow you to really easily match the two parts of the soundboard together so you can really line them up carefully and make sure that they are perfectly matched, ready for the gl glue in the two parts together. Once the two halves are stuck together, if the joint has come out well, you simply sand both surfaces smooth with a sanding block, working with the grain only, of course. Once the surface is smooth, turn it over and work both sides really carefully. And from this point on, protect the top from damage. Even just settling it down on the bench with wood shavings on it can easily leave marks and, and ruin the uh, top of your ukulele and that's the end of this week's ukulele bites tune in next time to see more about how our ukuleles are made thanks for watching